Jaden was headed to a Toyota dealership when his Hyundai Sonata was rear-ended by an SUV, spinning at 90 degrees and ripping off half of the rear bumper cover and a tail light. Jaden asked the dealership for their security footage of the accident, which gives us a much better angle of what happened. The SUV driver started driving away at first, but stopped a few blocks down the road due to deployed airbags. The car was totaled and had to be taken away on a flatbed truck. Jaden and his passengers were transported to the hospital as a precaution, but they were uninjured. The other driver's insurance provider paid Jaden $23,000 for the vehicle and hospital bill, and he replaced his Hyundai with a Mercedes SLK 350 Sport Convertible. Upgrade! Ryan was driving his Nissan Leaf when a young driver ran a red light that had been red for 20 seconds, T-boning Ryan at around 50 miles per hour. The car's safety systems activated, cutting off power from the traction battery. Ryan's wife was knocked unconscious, and a good Samaritan helped them both out of the car. They live only a few blocks from where this happened, so one of the responding police officers gave them a ride home. Ryan then started the insurance process, which went smoothly. In fact, they got such a good deal on the settlement that Ryan actually made a nice profit off his car. He used the money to replace it with his dream car, a Tesla Model S P85D. Now that's an upgrade. By the way, see this liquid on the windshield? Ryan's wife had been trying Vietnamese milk tea for the first time that day and she really liked the few sips she had, but she hasn't been able to stomach it since. Leon was driving his RAV4 when an oblivious pickup driver broke two rules of the road. He turned into a far lane and he turned right on red without yielding to traffic already in the roadway. Leon had to drive onto the island to avoid a collision. Afterward, he could see the pickup driver throw up his hands as if this had been Leon's fault. I can already hear some of you typing furiously that he turned wide because he's driving a pickup truck. Sorry, no. I used to drive a 20-foot box truck and I could have made that turn into the right lane, so a pickup driver has no excuse. Fortunately, Leon is a better driver than the other guy and there was no damage to either vehicle. Florian was driving in the Netherlands when he watched someone run a red light and hit a driver who was making a protected left turn. The driver of a van was busy with their phone and clipped the back end of another car. The other drivers were able to swerve around it and avoid a collision. Florian stopped, made sure everyone was okay, and provided a copy of his dashcam footage to the victim. Considering the speed limit here was about 45 miles per hour, it was fortunate there were no injuries. David was on his way home after dropping his grandma off at the airport when the driver of a semi-truck in front of him made an interesting maneuver. David isn't sure if the trucker is in the wrong for making a U-turn on a main road or if he's in the wrong for trying to pass the truck. Personally, I think the message on the truck was an open invitation. What do you think? Elias experienced a similar situation while exiting a roundabout in Denmark. Another driver figured that it would be a good idea to make a U-turn in the middle of the road right after exiting a roundabout without waiting for traffic to clear. Brilliant! Fortunately, Elias was able to stop in time to avoid a collision. This submitter was driving along when he watched an SUV pull into traffic in front of a speeding Chrysler. After the impact, a passenger jumped out of the Chrysler and started screaming at the SUV driver, banging on the windows and saying, you took everything from me, now I take your life. Needless to say, they called the cops. Unfortunately, they were found to be at fault for the accident because they pulled out in front of traffic across three lanes. You know, this kind of reminds me of that pickup truck in clip number three. 
Martin was driving when he stopped on a small local road to check out a sign. Before he could, the impatient driver behind him honked, evidently not understanding that Martin was trying to figure out where he was going. Martin responded with an admittedly rude gesture out his window, along with some insults in Italian. This irritated the other driver so much that he felt it necessary to zoom in front of Martin before slamming on his brakes. Martin and his friend responded in the most Italian way I can imagine. We had to mute most of the audio to make the clip family friendly, but I just love that part. The offending driver then stuck their phone out the window to take a photo of Martin's car, but when Martin pointed to his dash cam, he took off at high speed and wasn't seen again. Ryan was driving home on wet roads after it had been raining non-stop for eight hours. Another driver ran a light that had been red for a good eight seconds right in front of Ryan. Ryan slammed on the brakes, narrowly avoiding a collision. Remember, the fisheye lenses used by dash cams make things appear further away. The two cars came within inches of each other thanks to the wet road. Honey was driving down a Texas highway when an 18-year-old driving with no headlights on cut across three lanes and ran into her GMC pickup truck. See if you can spot the car before the impact. She didn't see the car until the last second, giving her almost no opportunity to stop. The collision did over 17,000 US dollars in damage to her truck, which took over five months to repair. The driver of the car took off, dumped his car in a nearby parking lot, and was found by the police about an hour later, hiding in a clothing store's changing room, holding his license plate. In the end, he was charged with failing to stop and provide information, but he wasn't arrested. Nick spotted a bad Tesla driver in California running a red light. That Model 3 driver needs to be more careful. Nick drives a Civic and this kind of move is just begging for a Honda bump. JP witnessed a close call when the driver of an SUV cut off a semi truck. Thankfully, the driver of the semi was paying attention. He swerved and hit the brakes to avoid a collision. As JP drove by, one of their passengers noticed that the driver of the SUV was elderly. RK's dad had an encounter with the cart demon while borrowing RK's car. Wait for it. While straightening out the car in a parking spot, RK's dad didn't notice the oncoming cart until it was too late. Then again, RK drives an Accord. Maybe this also qualifies as a Honda bump. Nish spotted one of those best drivers in the world that BMW's official Twitter account mentioned. It looks like for once, the Tesla driver wasn't the one behaving badly. Eddie was waiting at a red light when he watched two SUV drivers run the light at the same time. My theory is that this guy got impatient and this guy was on his phone and just started rolling when he saw the other car start to move. What do you think? Do you have a dash cam video that you want to share with us? Please send the video together with a description of what happened using the link in the description below.